Peace, family. It's your brother, Julian the General Smith Jr. And I'm checking in with this message today to uplift and to congratulate the students of Booker T. Washington High School. You all show great humility, organization, and solidarity in taking a knee in support of students that died during the massacre in Florida and in support of gun law reform. Now that we are a day after the walkout, where do we go from here? Dr. King, one of the graduates of Booker T. Washington High School, wrote a book named Where Do We Go From Here? Community or Chaos. And I support and submit to you a few ideas that I would like to share. Now, by no means am I trying to uh, step over anyone that is counseling or mentoring you. And in fact, I would submit that you share this video to say, hey, perhaps we can implement some of the ideas in this video that Mr. Smith is sharing with us because as I am a graduate of Southwest DeKalb High School in 2003, I went to Bethune Cookman College on a music scholarship where I got my degree in accounting in 2008. After that, I traveled the world. I've worked in corporate America. I've taught in uh, educational programs, and now I teach uh, music at Farrington Elementary School. And so during my experience, I have learned a lot, and I have had some uh, experiences and opportunities that I would like to share with uh, the next generation, because it's all about transfer learning and transfer knowledge so that each generation can take the level of achievement higher. Okay, so now I have a few ideas that to uplift to you all to share with you so that you can continue to achieve what uh, success to achieve uh, academic success to achieve career success because the movement is in your hands because um, in my opinion, too many of, of uh, people in position are comfortable and obviously that they are too comfortable because you all have to now demonstrate what should be understood. Okay, so now there are four main areas that uh, we must engage upon in that are in support of this advancement, business, politics, school, church. Okay, so now these areas are very important because this is the village. They say it takes a village to raise a child. And so it, as now as becoming leaders in, in your own success, now we must understand, well, where do we go and how do we go and how do we articulate the demands that we need so that we can succeed? Because in, in particular, on the MLK corridor where your school is located, you have a billion dollar stadium, you have a multi-million dollar belt line, and you have, uh, you have the YMCA that's coming down the street. So you must be able to position yourself to articulate your own future. Because whereas uh, certain individuals and organizations may have a, an idea of what you may need, you must be able to articulate your desires of what is best for you, your family, and in your school. And this is why Student Government Association is very, very important. There are a couple of uh, uh, programs that uh, I submit to you that I, I am not aware of the details of, of Booker T. Washington High School, if there is a FBLA and if there are, are uh, clubs that you can participate in that will um, inform and inspire you to uh, be in part of organizations that will um, provide you with the exposure of opportunity, okay? Um, engage your alumni. That's a one direct connection that you can uh, develop so that uh, you can have, whether it be uh, jobs, there may be uh, many of your alumni of your school may have jobs and opportunities for you to participate in. The PTSA. Um, get, get involved with the PTSA to understand what's going on in the community. You know, what are your, to express your needs uh, as a student body. Um, so remember, there are four main areas of engagement, business, politics, church, school. So obviously, you right, you're all are in the school. So now, uh, as a, from a student perspective is, well, how can we best prepare for college? How can we best prepare um, in our transition from high school into collegiate uh, scholarship or a technical school or in a after school, after high school endeavor. Okay, so 
let's start with um, politics. Okay, now your city council person is Ivory Young. OK, so now what I would suggest is that as you continue to organize, that you send a representative on behalf of the student body that will negotiate your demands or your needs. OK, because uh, um, we don't you don't want to have conflicting messages and you want to have a clear uh, articulated vision. So what are some what are some suggested demands that I would suggest that you may need? Okay, SAT prep classes, okay? Um scholarships uh to have because as college tuition rises every year and so we must be have some funding for collegiate tuition. Counselors um whether it be for for family issues, or whether it be personal emotional issues, or whether it be for okay, well, how do I choose a college? How do I set up my classes? How do I fill out the FAFSA? Okay, um, would, to have more uh, counselors on school to negotiate um, and and de de-escalate conflict. So those are some uh, s suggestions of things that you can uh, coordinate with your political uh, local government representatives, okay? Um, you can also get involved with the NAACP Atlanta. Um, now, also um, creating a school-to-college pipeline is also uh, very useful, because of your proximity to the AUC, you can have a direct pipeline going into Clark Atlanta, into Morehouse College, into Spelman College, and we are working towards the revitalization of Morris Brown College. So, therefore, we can create a school-to-college pipeline, and this can be done with the help of politics, with the help of church, and with the help of your own uh, mentors and your own uh, collegiate achievement. Now, let's say business. On MLK Drive, you have two uh, businesses that can support uh, some of your endeavors or provide opportunities for exposure, which uh, are the Atlanta Business League and the Atlanta Tribune. So the Atlanta Business League is a conglomerate of businesses, okay? And, and what you can do is to reach out to them and to be able to build a relationship for exposure into uh, entrepreneurship and other activities. The Atlanta Tribune, for those that have a, a, a desire for journalism, to mentor or to shadow and see what, what goes into being able to produce an article for a newspaper. So you have business, you have politics, okay, the churches. Um, one of your alumni, Dr. Martin Luther King Jr., you have Ebenezer Baptist Church uh, in the area. You have uh, Lindsay Street, which is on Simpson, and or Boone, and also uh, Allen Temple AME, which is at the uh, down further on Boone, which I'm a member of. And young people, I am here to support and to work with you. Everything that I'm mentioning um, I'm here to help bring into fruition because you all are the next generation. I got the knowledge so I could pass it on so that I can help myself, my family, and I can help the next generation. Okay, because you, we are walking in tradition and we are building on legacy because the, the mayor of Atlanta supports your movement. And we know that uh, education produces the labor force. And so... Uh, you, your education, your preparation provides the next mayor, is that next teacher, is that next lawyer, is the next doctor. And so, therefore, we must continue to um, transfer learning. Now, as well uh, as seeking uh, wisdom and resources from our uh, elders in those various areas, we also must continue to uh, reach back to the middle schools and elementary schools that feed into the school, because what this would do, it will reinforce the information for you, okay? It will it will inspire those middle school and, and elementary school students to know that, wow, somebody from the high school came to work with me, to help me read, to help me count, to help me prepare for this test, 
right? And so this is very important. Also, um, I would submit to you to continue to build on the legacy and to continue to walk in the tradition of Booker T. Washington, right? Booker T. Washington was an educator. Not only uh, as an educator, he also helped to, he started the Black Business League, which is now known as the Urban League, okay? And so being able to walk in those traditions of the your historic graduates, such as uh, Charles Harper, who was the, the first pr uh, principal of Booker T. Washington, which as Booker T. Washington is the first high school for black people in the state of Georgia, right? There's a, a statue of him in front of the Ashby Street train station. And so I submit to you to walk in the legacy and the tradition of those ancestors that have set the standard of excellence, okay? Um... I also submit that you reach out to the King Center with Dr. King being a graduate of Booker T. Washington High School. Reach out to the King Center for support, for resources, for guidance, and also, as I said earlier, to the AUC to be able to create a school-to-college pipeline and by working with uh, politics will, where government can direct resources to help facilitate that bridge because they have been able to find funds to build the belt line. They have been found, have found funds to build the stadium. And so they must also find funds to help your education to build the school to college pipeline to help secure your education and, and to secure the, the vitality and the revitalization of the MLK corridor. I also submit to you in, in your negotiations to um, look for after-school programs and summer school programs. Those after-school programs reinforce what the, you learn during the day. The summer school programs also advance your skills and advance your, your abilities and uh, uh, increase opportunities to explore the, your, the local and state and national areas. Uh, also look into study abroad programs. We live in a global society where we want to be informed, aware, and, and competitive as you graduate in high school. So I submit to you to continue to walk in the legacy of Booker T. Washington, of Charles Harper, walk in the legacy of Dr. Martin Luther King Jr. Continue to make your family proud and to make the alumni proud and to continue to work with your city council members and presidents and mayors, and work with the, the senators and to know that you matter, your voice matters and your, your education matters and is important and that there are people that love and appreciate and support you. And so it it's very important that we be able to articulate your needs and demands and wants so that we will continue to bridge the gap between the youth and the elders, okay? Because right now, we have to support each other. So my name is Julian Smith. Uh, I call myself the general because um, through information and uh, uh, inspiration, that uh, that militant level of execution and, and spirit, not not that I'm here to pick up guns to do any of that. My goal is to inspire excellence through academic achievement and character development. So I love you. Peace, power, prosperity, and I will leave my information with you, um, uh, Julian the General at gmail.com, or you can call me 404-579-0279. Peace, power, Prosperity, salute from the general. Go.